If van life safety is one of your major concerns, then you've come to the right video. We are Shane and Annie and we have been living in our van for the last six months, so we have learned a thing or two about van life safety. So we have travelled all over Ireland and Spain and we've visited some of Europe's worst cities for van life, such as Barcelona. So let's get on with the video and we'll show you what we know. So just before we continue on with the video, I just want to make it clear that we're not trying to put you off van life, but we're just trying to teach you how to be safe and to know what to look out for and to know what to do just to minimize the risk of getting robbed or anything we have lived in our van for over six months while traveling through europe and not once have we been disturbed at night or uh, we have anything robbed out of our van at least we we don't know if anybody tried to rob in of it but if they did they weren't successful so i just want to make this clear so you know we're not trying to put you off living the van life so first we're going to be talking about how to keep yourself safe on the road. So something really simple to do is to share your location with family, friends, basically anybody that knows the route that you're going to be taking. So they can see that if you haven't moved for a while or you're somewhere completely different, something could be wrong. Another thing that we do is we never let our phones die. It might be something really simple, but it's so important. When you're in the middle of nowhere, your phone is the only way you have to contact emergency services, family, in case you need help. So super important, don't let your phone die. And lastly, we recommend to have a self-defense item beside the bed. So if anybody breaks into your van while you're sleeping, you have something there handy to protect yourself. So next up, we're going to be talking about how to be strategic when you're coming to a park up at night. So first of all, what we do all the time is we make sure we read the comments on Park for Night because you might see an area and it looks beautiful, but you start scrolling through the comments and then other van lifers have left comments like the locals don't want you there, young ones come to party, people have tried to break into the vans, people have thrown stuff at the vans. So just always read the comments and make sure that the place that you're going to is safe, secure and no other van lifers had a bad experience. So on top of this, make sure you always arrive to your park group during daylight because if you arrive at night and the whole place is pitch black, you're not going to know your surroundings you're not going to know what it looks like and then it's going to make you feel uncomfortable so always arrive in daylight and you can scope it out for yourself to make sure you're comfortable in that area so I know it sounds stupid but we always park under a light so if you arrive to a park up and there's like lampposts around it's a good idea to go and park underneath them and it lights up your van I know it sounds stupid because you don't want light coming in while you're trying to sleep but it just brightens up your van and a robber is not going to come and try to break into it if it's in lit up and everybody can see it or if you go into a corner of a car park and it's pitch black no other van lifer can see you so uh, it's a perfect place for a thief to try and break into your van so just bear this in mind and always park under light just to give you that extra bit of security the one other thing that we do when we go to a park up is we try to find other vans and we kind of park up beside them well not on top of them because that it gets quite annoying but if you do arrive to a place and there's nobody around it can feel a little bit intimidating and scary at times because if something does happen then there's nobody there to help you out so when we go to a park up we try to find some vans and that just gives you the sense of security that if something does go wrong there's always going to be people there beside you to help you out last of all is just to trust your gut instinct because if you come to a car park and you feel like there's something not right it's a little bit dodgy then you're not going to enjoy it so just jump into your van move off to another car park there's going to be plenty of them around because if you don't you're going to be sitting there the whole night and you're going to be hearing noises you're going to think someone's going to break in and you're not going to enjoy it so just trust your gut and move off and find a safer place if you made it this far in the video we'd really appreciate it if you drop a comment leave a like or subscribe to the channel because it helps us grow an awful lot so next up is always be ready to escape so we always reverse into our park up so it's very easy to leave if anything happens on top of that if we can we park against a tree or a lamppost so we know that nobody can break in through the back door another thing we do is that we keep our keys always in the same place at night so if we do need to escape we know where they are and we're not looking around for them we have this little magnetic hook right beside the bed and we put them there every night another tip is to always leave the driver's seat free so if you do need to leave on an emergency you can just jump in and start driving so you don't have to take everything that was in the driver's seat putting it away you don't waste any time you just jump in and drive away and our last tip is to always make sure that your tank is not empty so in the case of an emergency you're sure that you can just hit the road and you don't have to be looking for a petrol station so you don't have to worry 
So next up on our list is protecting your van. So your van doesn't have to be 100% safe. All it has to do is be safer than the other vans around you. So there is many different ways on how to keep your van safe and I'm gonna run through a couple of them. The first thing that you can do is to geolocate your van. So this can be done by either using an AirTag or a Samsung tag and you can put these in your van, you can hide them somewhere so that if you are away, you can check and make sure that your van is not stolen and been driven off somewhere or in the unfortunate event that your van does get broken into and end up stealing it then you can locate your van with these air tags or the samsung tags so they're very cheap and it's an easy way to help just give you a peace of mind and that your van is going to be secure so one thing we like to do to keep our van secure is we like to use chains on the inside of a door because our van is 40 years of age the locks just aren't the best and it could probably break into them very very easily so we like to lock from the outside but also lock it from the inside so before we exit the van we just put a loop around the door we have two hooks and put a chain through them and tie them with a padlock so then if the thief does get the door open it doesn't open fully it only opens about half an inch and it doesn't give them enough room to get their hand in to grab any items and it just gives you a couple of more minutes that if the thief actually does break open the door he has to go through another step to get into it and maybe someone might scare him off in the meantime so it's just, it just gives you that extra peace of mind to know that your van is that little bit more safer so one other thing that you can do if your van has like sliding windows or windows at the back is to put like a bar across the windows. I know it's not going to stop anybody from getting in but if they do manage to smash the window it limits the space that they have to get through the window to grab your items. So we have this bar that goes across our sliding window and it just halves the, the gap of the window so if someone does break in it's going to be a tighter squeeze to get through and even grab pull out bigger items. So it's a very cost effective way it only costs us a couple of euro but it just gives us that sense that we know if someone does break in then it's going to be even harder for them to get our items so one other thing you can do is use blackout curtains now these are very cheap and cost effective and it just gives you a peace of mind and when you close your windows you know nobody can see in so when you're in the town or whatever and your windows are all closed you know that there's no chance of anybody seeing in and be able to see if you have an item lying on your counter or your laptop or your camera or something so this just helps deter the thief away and minimize the risk of them breaking in. So highly recommend using blackout curtains. And also with the blackout curtains, the thief can't see the bar that is going across the side window. So it's just, everything helps in a situation like that there. So make sure you get blackout curtains and it just gives you that privacy and sense of security. So next up is an alarm system and we couldn't recommend this enough. It gives you so much security in your van so it gives you that sense of security that if you are away and somebody breaks into your van it's going to alert other people around them and hopefully they escape before taking anything that you own inside the van. So we have this uh, alarm system we got on Amazon. We leave it linked down below and you can check it out. So how this alarm system works is when you have a piece on your door and a piece on the pillar. So when you close the door and they make contact that makes like the full circuit and if somebody does manage to break in and open your door then the circuit is broken and it sets off the alarm so we have the alarm hidden somewhere in the van so that if it does go off people aren't going to be able to get it it takes a while to find it so it just it's extremely loud so it'll alert people all around you so it's very cheap it's only like maybe 30 40 euro so that it works like that there but you can also use motion sensors so you can have them inside your van so have to, uh, for example if they break through the front window and they get into your van then they're obviously not going to be breaking the, the beam on the door but the motion sensors will pick them up and then it'll set off the alarm as well so this here is only like 40 euro and it gives you such a ease of mind that you know that if someone does break into your van then everything is going to be secured next up we're going to show you some cost effective ways just to give you that extra little bit of security and one of them is to use the little stickers that says that this vehicle is alarmed so if you put this here on your van and the thief sees it then it's not worth the effort of going having to break in the windows and maybe putting off the alarm and risk being caught so it just helps deter them away and one other thing you can use the anti-shatter film that you can put on your windows so if he does break in then your windows are just going to explode and it's a free entry to get in everything will stay tight and it'll just make it that, that little bit harder for him to get into the van so there is a couple of ways how to protect your van while doing van life so lastly we're going to talk about how to protect the valuables inside your van so our first tip is to install a safe somewhere where it's not in sight so you know that when you're away your valuables are safe in there and if somebody breaks into your van first they have to find the safe and then secondly they have to break into it another tip is to have heightened spots in your van for bigger valuables that don't fit into your safe so this should be spots where 
you don't think anybody else would look only you know so if somebody breaks into your van it takes them a while to find your valuables basically don't leave your valuables inside so if somebody breaks into your van it doesn't take them one second to grab your laptop and go another thing you can do is to have dummy items in your van so we all have like an older phone sitting in a drawer in our house so what you can do is to get that old phone that is doing absolutely nothing in your house have it in your van as an extra security layer so if somebody breaks into your van they find it and they think that they've got away with your phone and it's actually a phone that you don't care about anymore so just have that phone not too hidden in your van so they find it and they get away with it it's just one way to help protect your most valuable items so another tip is to be extra cautious especially if you're in a city and there's loads of people around you so it's a good idea to put your valuables away before approaching your van so for example if you have a big camera it's a good idea to put it in your bag and then get into your van so that people don't see that you have that big camera in your van and they know that if they break in they are gonna get it and lastly a really simple tip but probably one of the most effective ones is to not leave anything on display. It's very important to not leave any valuables on the dash or in the front that is usually where you can see more. Just be mindful of where you put the valuables in the van, make sure that they aren't on display. So there you have it, that's all of our safety tips, so if you have any other tip, please share it down in the comments so we can all learn. If you've been watching our videos, you realize that this is not actually Fergus, we are in a different van and we're going to be giving you a van tour of this because we are going to be doing a couple of road trips over the winter in this here van. So make sure you're subscribed to check out the van tour that's coming very shortly. And thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Bye. And lastly, you can drive away. Escape. Escape. Oh, come on.